Hey, how's everyone today? I wanted to make this video on this Bachman I bought, and I was really curious about it. And the price was so good for a locomotive with DCC and sound, I just, I couldn't, like, turn away on it. So this is one of the, uh, I call these Jeevos. I think a lot of people call them Jeevos. Because I can never remember the actual name of them. I'll have to look at the box here. So it, it is a... Oh yeah, the the General Electric. General Electric ES44AC. Um, Jivo. I don't know. I just know them by Jivos. And um, my history could be wrong, but I think these evolved from the Dash 8 and Dash 9s over the years. But I was just so curious about this. And, uh, for a fully loaded locomotive, and it is brand new, like the, the person I bought it off of never used it, and, uh, and I believe them because there was no wear on the wheels at all, so I mean, they, they definitely weren't lying about it, and they only wanted a $120 Canadian, and for a fully loaded locomotive, I mean, why the heck not, eh? It sparked my curiosity, too, because I was just like, I wonder, you know, this is a a more modern Bachman, and I was just like, from my experience with Bachman, they're a little wonky, is the word I want to use with their details. I mean, I love the old Spectrums. I love them. They're great. Great deal. Great bane for the buck, and, I, you know, I like adding my own details, too. So I just wanted to do a little video on it, because it, it is interesting. So we'll just look at the details. So, I mean... You know, we got the MU hoses and everything, which is really awesome. That's great. Um, it, you know, it comes with, uh, oh, I forget what kind of hoses the red hoses are. I, I've made some for locomotives, too, just out of wire. I just can't remember what they are. don't remember what those are for. Um, but what's, like, really interesting, and, and this is a pet peeve. So we got the little grab rails are molded into the body. Huge pet peeve of mine. I, I really hate that. And I mean, I'm going to make my own for it. I've done it before. But it's, I just find it a little weird. So, you know, they, they put the real metal grab rails on the top of the nose. We got wipers, too. And, you know, there's the little grab rails, like, uh, above the windows, trying to get the, you know, the camera to zoom in properly. But that's molded in with the body. So this really scratch in my head. Like I say, I'm just really like, what... What were they thinking when they did that? I don't know. A little weird. But it's a huge pet peeve. I can't stand that when locomotives have that, have the grab rails molded in. So I'm just going to make my own. And it's so weird because they they even put the, uh, you know, they even got the wind deflectors on there, right? So you got the the two, here I'll point out with my paintbrush. So you got the, you know, the two wind, look, camera's not zooming properly. So we got the wind deflectors there. So... You know, a lot of extra detail, but they mold it in. The grab irons on the nose. Weird. But, I mean, other than that, uh, the trucks are decently detailed. Um, the camera's not really picking it up, but the, uh, if I can angle it a little bit. Yeah, you can just see the uh, brake caliper lines. So it does have brake caliper line details. And the vent details are just average. Like, there's no see-through vents in, or anything like that. So that's just average. Average detail there. Um, the, uh... You can... there it, You can see, like, other, like... I don't know if I want to call them electrical lines, but they're just molded in. So they're not separately applied. But, I mean... For the, uh... For the price point Bachman was going for... I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't look horrible. But it's not like, uh... It's not like my modern Athern Genesis, where all those are all separately applied details. I didn't do a video on that one yet, but I will. And, uh... And we got the ditch lights in the back, too. They all work. We got the MU hoses. The other hose, which I... Like I say, I don't know what it's called. So... Like I say, interesting. So these grab rails, with all the other extra details they put on, these are molded into the body. 
Yeah, I, I just don't get it. They they put the effort into into all the details on the nose and and the wipers and and everything and the uh, and the wind deflectors, but they go and mold those into the body. Yeah, I just kind of scratch my head. Like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that myself anyway. Because I do like the model. It's still a nice model. It works really well too, and the, and the price is like, you know, fully loaded with DCC and sound. I mean, why the heck not, eh? But yeah, so yeah, the trucks they're nice. They're not too bad. Um, there's no texture on the walkway, so that's probably you know part of the the budget point for the build too. So no textured walkway. There's no graded steps. That's okay. Like I say, the only thing that's bugging me is the uh, the small molded grab rails on the on the back and on the nose. All right, looking at the fuel tank. Ah, just average fuel tank details. Um, these uh, those that's for the air, I do believe, air reservoir tanks, and they are. I can't. I'm trying to tell if they're like. Yeah, I think they're separately applied. The light's not... I was trying to find that out the other day. Like, I was, like, really looking at it. And I was like, I know on the Spectrum, Dash 8 and Dash 9s, they are... They're separately applied pieces. But I was debating it on this guy. Like, I was trying to get in there with the angle. But I just couldn't... Yeah, I'm trying to see if it is or not. I might have to take... You know what? I might have to take the fuel tank off to, find, to figure that out, which is no big deal. Like I say, they put some nice detail on the top of the nose, and, you know, there, there's a cab interior, too, and all that, which is, like, overall, like, I'm impressed with it, especially for the price, like, super impressed. It's just what I'm really scratching my head on. You know, why would they go through the work to do all the other extra details, but they mold in those? Like I say. It's a little, little strange in my opinion, but that's just me. But yeah, I'm just trying to figure those out. See if I can get a better shot. Oh, this piece right here, whatever it is, it's actually metal. That there. So it's part of the uh, metal chassis, which is pretty neat. It doesn't, it definitely, I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's not horrible. But yeah, so this, those there. Try and see. If they are separate. I just can't figure it out right now. So I'll have to take the tank off to figure that out. See. Oh wait. I just thought of something. I could look at the exploded diagram. That would probably tell me. If those are separate or not. I'll have to. I can't really do it while holding the phone. It's a little difficult. But actually what the heck. I'll give it a shot. See if I can one hand it, pull the uh, exploded instructions out. Let's see here. Ah, oh, the struggle is real. Figure it out. Alright, I think I got a hold of it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm kind of flicking the camera everywhere. Let's see. Alright. Take a look at the exploded view and see here if they are... Actually, there is quite a bit of parts to it. Where is that? It's like papers like stuck together here. Apologies. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay, there's the bottom of the fuel tank. Looking for details... Actually, that's not bad at all, really. Okay, there's the body. Yeah, quite a few parts of the body. But I can't see the air. Oh, there's the air reservoirs. There they are right there. Okay, no, they are separate. Awesome, that's really cool. You know what? It's actually pretty nice. A lot of parts to it. I like to see that. That's really cool. But why they didn't do the small grab irons? That's beyond me. 
but overall, I mean, I'm, I'm still happy with the model. I like it. It runs really well. It runs really smooth. It sounds great. Um, and I'm, I'm just like, the price was awesome for a fully loaded locomotive. And uh, I've been wanting to get a little collection of Conrails going. So, so I got this one here, the Jeevo. I got an SD45, which I did a video on. And then I also have a, uh, a Dash 8 by Atlas that I didn't do a video on that one, but I'll, I'll get that one done soon enough. But yeah, little video on this guy here. Overall, really happy, except for my pet peeve with the molded in rails. But everyone take care and have a great day.